Hello everyone and welcome back to another Code and Chat with Zach. Today we're going to be setting up a simple network using the Cisco Packet Tracer Student 6.2 and we're just going to set up a simple network. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is grab a router and for this project we'll just grab an 1841 and we'll also need two in devices set those like that. Next we'll click on the connections and grab cable crossover and from here we'll go from the fast ethernet 00 to 00 and on this side we'll go from 00 to 01. So let's go ahead and look at our IP scheme. So a router separates networks. This router gives us this network as well as this network. So let's go ahead and assign the IP. So the network that we're looking at will be 192.168.2.0 since we're on this side here. And now we want to go ahead and pick uh, the IP that um, we will need for each of our connections. So for the fast ethernet 0 slash 1, which is this one right here, that will be a 192.168.2.1 and then our PC 1 will be 192.168.2.2 and on this side we'll have Network 198 or 192.168.1.0 network, which will give us fast Ethernet 00, zero which is this connection right here. And that will be 192.168.1.1. And PC0 will be 192.168.1.2. So that gives us our four connections as well as our two networks. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the router, go to CLI, which is Command Line Interface for Cisco. Now here we want to continue with con uh, configuration dialog, yes or no. We will type in, hit enter, hit enter one more time. Now uh, we'll type in EN uh, e for enable and config T, which will bring us into config mode. So let's look at our, our network scheme here. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and give this a host name and we'll just call this router. Okay, which is what it was already, but you use that uh, code to set up the host name. Now we want to do interface. And with Cisco, if you haven't already figured it out, you can type in the first few letters. And once Cisco can separate it from all other commands, you can hit tab and it will figure out the rest for you. So I typed INT and hit tab and that gave us interface. FA will give us fast Ethernet 0, 0 and hit enter. And notice we are now in the interface configuration mode and we want to assign that an IP. So IP ADD will give us um, IP address 192.168.1.1 remember we're working right here and we will use the mask of 255.255.255.0 hit enter. Next we need to hit no shut which is for no shutdown and notice that it changed the state to up and we now have a green configuration lens. We'll hit that one more time. Now we want to work over here. Notice we have not configured this side so the lights are still red. So let's exit out of here. Go back to global config mode we will do INT FA for fast Ethernet 01. That takes us into the configuration mode 
for the interface IP at 192.168.2.1 and remember we're using the 255.255.255.0 network mask and once again no shut that told us that the state has been changed to up and now we have a green light on this side from here we can go ahead and close it now the next thing that we need to do is configure our two PCs with their um, the correct information so that we can talk across the network so we'll click on here Oops. we'll go to desktop IP configuration and our IP address is 192.168.1.2 subnet mask is the default and our default gateway which is this connection port this fast ethernet port 192.168.1.1 close that and close that now we'll come over here and do the same thing IP configuration 192.168 here it is 2.2 .2. We'll accept the default there. And then our default gateway, which is this connection port 192.168.2.1. And we'll close that. Now we should be able to ping from here to here or vice versa. So let's give that a shot. We'll click there. We will open our command prompt. Type in ping, P I N G, 192.168.2.2. And now here it's pinging with 32 bits of data. We're waiting for it. The first one, request timed out. That's normal the first time you make a connection across the network. After that, it replied. So we had four packets. We received three. We had one loss. Go ahead and run that again, and you should get a four for four or for 100%. Notice zero loss. So we are good to go. Double check that if you'd like. And for the practice, ping 192.168.1.2. And again, we are getting full reply, zero loss. I hope this was beneficial. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and have a great day. Keep coding.